the apprentice system has been really beneficial to me. Um, previous to this, I was in a in a kind of time period where I was looking to kind of change my career path, and um, I kind of spent the last decade doing working in education, so quite different. But I'd always had an interest in engineering, and it's stuff that I'd studied at um, A level and GCSE, and just never really got the opportunity because I didn't quite get some of the grades I needed in maths at that at that time. But since then. I saw this opportunity and I kind of had the correct entry requirements and thought I would apply for it and given me that opportunity to get into something that in the past I didn't have the foothold and now I do and here I am and it's going really well and hopefully I'm flourishing in it. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, similar to Kia. I was always a very creative individual with A levels in product design and and art. So like I say, I was always very creative. When I finished my A levels, I didn't really want to go to university. I like working, I like being hands-on and obviously I wanted to progress personally as well. I've actually been on a few different uh, apprenticeships. My most recent was the degree apprenticeship with, um, with the University of Brighton, which is obviously through West Sussex. And I graduated uh, with a first class honours degree and I've also become um, an incorporated engineer with the Institution of Engineers. Being part of those degree apprenticeships has helped me to progress professionally and personally at the same time. And obviously it's all fully funded, which, which is a great benefit. I would definitely consider a, another apprenticeship or a further apprenticeship um, if the opportunity arises at a later date. I think this first year has been kind of really good for me and using that kind of university learning and um, workplace learning has been really beneficial to kind of developing my practice a bit quicker. And I really enjoy the experience of going to university once one day a week. I get to meet other people from slightly different elements of civil engineering. I kind of get to talk about how their experience differs slightly to mine, whether they work in a private or whether they work on a different type of civil engineering, so maybe more structural engineering. And I can kind of communicate then when we get to work in groups and it just helps kind of broaden horizons and explore further fields. So I think um, if another opportunity were to appear, then yeah, I'd definitely go for it. Yeah, I think the hybrid approach um, of an apprenticeship, so, you know, studying for 20% of one day a week um, and then being on the job for the other 80% or four days is, is really valuable. It means that when you graduate, obviously you've got the on the job experience as well as the academic experience. So it allows you to develop in those at the same time. And also it means that, you know, if you want to progress your career following the apprenticeship, you've got that experience and academic qualification as well. Um, I've been in the role for um, nearly a year now. And in that time, I have got an opportunity to design a small element of a scheme and that was something I really enjoyed because I was able to kind of use that as a really strong learning opportunity to kind of investigate the legislation around pavements and crossings and learned a great deal and then I actually got to see it being constructed and then the final kind of finished product so I really enjoyed that whole process and um, it's really inspired me to kind of continue to develop and get kind of more complex work as I progress into the role. Yeah I think like you say it's, it's the variety day to day um, one day we could be using AutoCAD to design a scheme to um, design standards. And another day we could be on site actually overseeing construction. Um, and both of those come with their own challenges and obviously trying to deliver the best possible project and scheme for the general public. 